Hello everyone! So you found yourself in Sevilla or are planning a trip there? You've come to the right place! We spent a month in Sevilla in February and March of 2022, and in this video, we're sharing our best of Sevilla, the top 10 things you should not miss in this beautiful city in southern Spain. Let's get to the list! At number 1, we have the Cathedral and Giralda. You wouldn't miss these two. The Cathedral used to be the largest church in the world, now the third after St. Peter's in Rome and St. Paul's in London. It was built on the site where a mosque once stood, after King Ferdinand III of Castile reclaimed Sevilla from the Moors in 1248. Among the highlights of the cathedral, aside from its sheer size, are the magnificent altarpiece and the tomb of Christopher Columbus. Just beside it, the Giralda is the tallest structure in the city center at 104 meters. It is named after the 4 meter high bronze statue on top of it, which is a weather vane, it turns in the wind. The Giralda used to be the minaret of the mosque. The tower was not destroyed, but modified by the Christians. If you get a ticket, it covers both the cathedral and Giralda, but either go really early or really late because they're very popular and always crowded. The same ticket also gives you free admission to the nearby church of El Divino Salvador within a week, so don't forget to pay it a visit too if you have the time. Next to the Cathedral and Giralda is the General Archive of the Indies. Housed in the Old Merchants Exchange building, it is the repository of all documents capturing the history of the Spanish Empire and its colonies in the Americas and Asia. The building and any exhibition in it is free to enter. Rounding up the UNESCO World Heritage Site in Sevilla together with the cathedral and the archive is the Alcazar, a royal palace built by the Christian King Peter of Castile on the site of a Muslim Alcazar or residential fortress after the reconquest. The palace showcases a beautiful blend of styles, Islamic decorations, Gothic and Renaissance elements. Marvel at the courtyard of the maidens? The ceiling of the old throne room, now the ambassador's hall, and the aesthetically landscaped gardens. If you think, hmm, parts of this place seem familiar, you've probably seen them in the movie Lawrence of Arabia, Kingdom of Heaven, or the Game of Thrones series. The next few sites on the list are located by the Guadalquivir River, the only navigable river in Spain which makes Sevilla the gateway to the New World. Torre del Oro, or Tower of Gold, is one of Sevilla's iconic landmarks, an ancient watchtower standing on the bank of the river. Formerly used to control access and shipping through the river, it now houses a small but interesting maritime museum. You can also go all the way up to the panoramic terrace to enjoy a beautiful view of the river and surrounding area. Just a stone's throw away from our golden tower is the bullring of La Maestranza. Constructed in the 1700s, this bullring still hosts bullfights today. You may or may not approve of bullfighting, but it is undoubtedly an important part of Spanish culture and history and continues to evoke passion in the people of Spain today. Visit it to understand how bullfighting came about, how it is conducted, and get to know the notable matadors and bulls that have fought here. Soak in the atmosphere of the ring, imagine what it's like to fight within its bounds, facing triumph and honor or death. At 
Number 6, Plaza de España is the most famous and spectacular square in Sevilla. It was built in 1928 for the Ibero-American Expo of 1929. A semicircle with a diameter of 200 meters flanked by two towers, it has 52 benches or sections of tile mosaics depicting the 52 provinces of Spain. See if you can recognize the historical scenes they portray. It's a very photogenic place. Other features are the large fountain in the middle and a canal with four bridges. Visitors can rent a rowing boat and enjoy a peaceful day here. You can often catch a flamenco performance too. And since you're already here, why not take a walk at the nearby Maria Luisa Park? Our number 7, Hospital de la Caridad, is a charity hospital founded in the 17th century. It is the legacy of one Miguel de Mañara, a man who after losing his wife dedicated the rest of his life to charity. The highlight is the chapel, the walls of which hold a number of extraordinary paintings by great artists Murillo, Valdes Leal, and Roldan, all showcasing a theme of charity and compassion. Today, the hospital houses and cares for the elderly without financial means, and uses the money raised from tourism to maintain the facilities, so you'll be doing a good deed visiting this place. Walking around in Sevilla, you wouldn't miss the Metropole Parasol, also known as Las Setas or the Mushrooms of Seville. It's the world's largest wooden structure, designed by a German architect Jürgen Meyer and finished in 2011. The structure houses the central market and an underground archaeological complex, while the terrace roof is a city viewpoint, offering a 360-degree panorama of Sevilla. There's a built-in walkway you can traverse in under 30 minutes, but we suggest you take your time to soak in the sights, take lots of photos and videos. We spent about an hour up here. And as you can see, we visited during the day, but at night the structure is lighted up by colorful LED lights, so we bet it's beautiful too. Sofia is the capital of Andalusia and one of its specialties is orange wine, so stop by a bar and give it a try. As the name suggests, it's sweet with a citrusy scent and taste and we really enjoyed it. You can order some tapas too while at it. We enjoyed ours at Alfaro Peregil, a small bar along the bustling Mateos Gago street leading up to the square where the cathedral and Giralda are. But you can find good orange wine and tapas in many other bars and restaurants in the city, so have your pick! Last but not least, take a walking tour. Sevilla has a compact and beautiful city center that is a pleasure to discover on foot. If you take a walking tour, you'll learn about the history of this ancient city, discover its great sights, and experience the vibrant city it is today. We highly recommend the free Rick Steves Sofia City Walk, downloadable through his free Rick Steves Audio Europe app. But of course, you could go with a local guide for a more personal touch. That's our list of the top 10 things to do in Sofia. If you have more time in this charming city, lucky you, then you should consider paying a visit to some of the prominent houses of Sofia, such as Las Duenas, Casa de Alba, 
or Casa de Pilatos for their architectural and artistic heritage, or Palacio de la Condesa de Lebrija for an impressive collection of Roman mosaics and other antiques. And don't forget the many churches of Sevilla too. Did you know there are more than a hundred, many of which are worth the detour? Like San Luis de los Franceses, Basilica de la Macarena, and Basilica de Jesus del Gran Poder, to name just three. If you find yourself in Sevilla during Semana Santa, the Holy Week leading up to Easter, then wow, you're there during one of the biggest festivals in Sevilla, and you'd be able to witness the religious procession involving elaborate floats on which sit the life-size statues of the Virgin Mary or Christ. Truly a fascinating sight! We hope you enjoy this video and find it useful, in which case, we'd love for you to like this video, leave us a comment, and subscribe for more similar content. Take care and have a great time in Sofia!